But I knew, he said, I'll never leave you, never forget it, or never, never leave thee. He said, so I, I know he's with me all the time. Amen. Amen. Even through the hard times. Even through the times, I think, he ain't there. He's still there. Amen. All right. We're going to start with a little talk. Eventually we'll wind up on Acts 4, but then we'll go to the whole Bible, Acts 4, 12. Salvation. The word salvation is used in the Bible 168 times. It's the Acts 7. <laughs> Preservation from destruction, danger, or great calamity. I like that. Acts 4.12 Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. There is, there is no other way to get saved, amen, except, except, amen, uh, this person. And this person must be real poor. That none of the name under heaven must be given among men whereby we must be saved. Real poor. You want to get saved? You got to go through this guy. Who is this guy? I can tell you right now. That's that's uh, uh, that's Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. God uh, likes to use. Are you ready for this? Symbols. Illustrations. Pictures, typology, uh, typology. You say, what does that mean? It's a type. You, you say, what does that mean? What? Uh, you know what a melon is? What's the other one? Looks like a melon, but it ain't a melon. Cantaloupe. You got a cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. They look the same. They taste pretty much. I mean, they pretty much the same taste, but they ain't the same. It's just type. It's a melon. Revelation 3.20 Behold, I stand at the door. Knock, if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come to him and will sup with him and him with me. What is salvation? Are you ready for this? I'll give you one. I'm going to give you a bunch. Number one, it's opening a door. This is salvation. George, are you ready? Now imagine this door right here. Okay, there's the door right here. All right. Take the door. And I walk through the door. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm mm saying. -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is salvation? It's opening the door. Open the door. Right. How do you get saved? Well, number one, you know, Jesus is knocking on the door. Right. First thing you got to do is you got to listen. Somebody knocking at the door? Open it up. Now, my dog. Mm -hmm. She occasionally, if she's in the mood, will tell me somebody is at the door. Right. Sometimes she has a tendency of I want to tell me. Mm -hmm. How does God do this? He does it many ways. A small, still voice through the preaching, through the Bible reading, through prayer. He can do it through a total stranger. I was cutting grass one time, right down the road, and I was putting up a tent, and the man said, you're ruining my grass. I said, you do understand that this tent People are going to come and get born again. I said, would you rather have the grass brown or would you rather have see people go to heaven? And then he started this big speech. Mm -hmm. oh, I've got to listen to this. And while he's talking, God says, shut up and listen. This man is trying to tell. I'm trying to tell you something. Pay attention, boy. Amen. He was talking about grass. Amen. But you know what? Mm -hmm. By the time I finished the conversation, I didn't know nothing about grass. All I heard was, God told me a message. Mm -hmm. Amen. God will use many ways to Amen. speak to you. Amen. 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 Or try to talk to you. Now, if you are waiting for heaven to send down a little white dove to come down, and 
man right beside you and start speaking. Would you like to get saved? Uh, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> it is just not gonna happen. You know why? First Corinthians 127, I'm gonna tell you why. God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And the base things of the world. And the things that are despised that God chosen, yea, and things which are, are not, to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh of glory in his presence. What is is preaching? What are preachers? Well, number one, talk about food stuff. People say, well, that's a fool. Spends his Sunday up there preaching. They ain't even listening. God uses weak things. I don't, man. He can't talk. Until he gets behind the pole. Uh, 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 base things. You know what a base thing is? Ain't nobody else would use this man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about he's got a bad, bad reputation. Things that are despised. Not only that, God likes to use a man that people hate. They just hate his guts. Mm -hmm. You know what God says? That's my man right there. Mm -hmm. That's who I'm going to use right there. Mm -hmm. Foolish things. Mm -hmm. You know what the foolish things in the world are? Only one would have. Mm -hmm. They say, ah, I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to go through him. Mm -hmm. For God, for after that in the wisdom of God, the, 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 the world by wisdom knew not God. Why did they not know God? Because it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. You know what God did? Mm -hmm. He said, I'll tell you what. What is the most foolish way Foolish way. How about a guy getting up on Sunday and screaming and hollering? Mm -hmm. Telling people how much God loves them. Tell them how much his son died for them. Tell them about hell once in a while. Tell them about the joys of being and going to heaven. He said, let's get one of them guys. He said, that's kind of, that's kind of foolish. Said, yeah, I said, that is right. That is sound foolish. So God chose the foolishness of preaching. Amen. Amen. And says, oh, you want to go to heaven? Amen. Here it is. If you don't go to church and listen Amen. to some preacher, you don't get to go. Amen. Now, can you, get, can you get saved anywhere? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've seen people tell me stories. They got saved. Amen. You know, here they got saved there. But I'm just telling you, they got to hear the message. Amen. They must listen to some type of preaching. They gotta have preaching. You gotta have Amen. preaching. You ain't got no preaching. Amen. Ain't gonna get saved. Amen. What do people hate? Taxes. That was not the answer I was looking for. No, they hate preaching. Amen. Amen. If they're lost, they hate preaching. They hate for a man, not a woman, they hate for a man to get up with authority and actually demand. Mm -hmm. See, teaching just it, it helps your intelligence. Mm -hmm. Right. Get smart. No more about God. Preaching demands. Alright, you sorry thing, you. You done heard of the message? Now, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna do something about it or not? That's the difference. Mm -hmm. That's all the difference is. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why people hate preaching. Mm -hmm. They hate that. Mm -hmm. You gotta go through Jesus. Amen. Amen. You gotta go through Jesus. I had one man get saved. He said, You said this and you said this and you said that. Boy, I tell you, now I got born again. And I went in my mind now, and I played the tape back and I said, I have to find the tape back. I said, I didn't say that, and I didn't say this, and I didn't say that. <laughs> but that's what he heard. You know why? Mm -hmm. 
God was speaking to him. God was speaking to him. Amen. If God will speak to you, you get saved. First thing you got to do is you got to hear the door being knocked. Next thing you got to do is he's standing on the other side of the door and said, let me in. Now, if you can't hear that, I want to be a part of your life that your spiritual hearing has gone dead. It's gone dead. All the Lord wants to do is want to come in. Amen. With you. Amen. Amen. You know what sub means? It means he wants to have a good meal with you. He wants to have a good conversation. He wants to have a drink with you. Amen. Let's sit down. Let's just talk. Let's have a Coca Cola. Let's just sit down and have a Coca Cola. Are we thirsty? Not really. But we're going to have one anyway just because we want to talk. Amen. 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 Salvation is an open door. John 10 9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. What's man going to do? Well, sometimes you got to be in the physical world. And sometimes you open that door and guess what? Hallelujah! I'm in heaven, standing before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and, and I'm a praising God, and I'm a praising the Lord Jesus Christ, and I'm having myself a Holy Ghost fit. Amen. 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 So much I can take. Mm -hmm. I have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. I gotta go back to the side. Mm -hmm. You say you're unsaved? No, I'm still saved. Mm -hmm. But I gotta find great pastor, man. Mm -hmm. 